Okay, after doing a minimum install of CentOS, there's a few things we need to do in, in preparing our server uh, for service. So we're going to log in as root. And one of the first things we're going to do, if you remember, when we first installed the system, uh, we deselected all the different package groups so that it wouldn't install any of the package groups. Um, those package groups can now be installed however you want. And of course now we no longer have that beautiful uh, graphical interface to do it with. We can still do this from the command line. I'm just going to type in yum space group list and then I'm going to pipe this to less as our pager so we can the contents won't just scroll off the screen, we'll be able to actually see it. And it takes a few minutes to run the first time. Okay. Yeah, we see here that the installed groups is Yum Utilities. That's the only installed group we have. And we can see the available groups. Administration tools, authoring and publishing, base, beagle, cluster storage, clustering, etc. The only one that we're concerned with right now is going to be base. And then later on we can do... Um, and when we do that, that's going to install uh, the mail server and I think one other package. I don't remember offhand what that is. But, um, and we could install web server, but we really want to avoid any extra packages we don't need. So for right now, we're just going to install base, and then from there, we'll figure out what packages we want to install right away and, uh, and avoid all the others. The fewer packages we have installed, the easier it is to maintain the server, the less likely we'll run into an issue, a security issue with a package that we're not even using. So, I'll go ahead and Q for quit. Now I'm going to do yum group install and then open double quotes, capital B A S E, close double quotes, and hit, oh, let me do this yum y group install base. That way it'll automatically answer yes to any prompts that we get. So we definitely want to install the base at this point. So we'll go ahead and hit enter. And this will take a while because it'll install here uh, roughly about 170 some odd packages. And it'll also run update for us on other packages that need to be updated. Okay, after uh, installing the base, the next thing we'll want to do is um, create a host name and a domain name for our server. Now mine is going to be called server9, so first thing I'll do is run the hostname command. Hostname server9 and type in a do your domain. I'm going to use Althusius.net since that's my domain. And now you'll need to uh, edit the sysconfig file for your network. Otherwise, it won't keep these changes. It'll um, lose the changes on the next reboot. So you go to Etsy sysconfig network. We'll open that up in VI. And you can go down to where it says host name. It says localhost.local domain. We'll just change that to our host name, which is server9.althusius.net. We'll save that. Okay. Now, uh, the next thing we want to do is uh, we're going to create, or oh, beg your pardon, we're going to configure sudo. Sudo is a program that we use that uh, so that users can execute execute commands as root. 
Because one of the things we don't want to do is uh, be logged in for any long period of time as root on our server. So the first thing we'll do, and I'm going to just do a real simple configuration for sudo that suits my purposes most. Most of, you can do a more complex setup with it. Just read the documentation on, on sudo. And to edit the sudo config file, you have to type in vi sudo as one word. We'll hit enter. And then I'm just going to go down. This is pretty close to the end of the file. In fact, we'll just go to the end of the file. And we'll just count up. You know, probably about 10 lines up from the file, the bottom of the file. You see this line that's commented out. It says, allows people in group wheel to run all commands. That suits my purposes as a, an administrator. And I'll just go ahead and uncomment that. And we'll save it. That's really it. We're done. Now, uh, the next thing we'll need to do is create a new user. For that, we'll use user add. Now, as an administrator, you want to be aware of what UIDs and GIDs you assign to your users and you want to keep a record of them somewhere so that way when you need to create the same users on a different server they all have the same user ID or, or, or group ID across the servers that's really especially important if you start implementing a network file system in your environment um, but anyway let's go ahead and add it. I always start with I think the default for CentOS is UID 500. I always like to start mine at 1000. It also gives me more, more room to use users and IDs for different services on the server. So uh, the other thing I want to do is make sure this user gets added to the group wheel. And we want to make sure the home directory is created. And then I'll type in the username. And I'll just use my first name, last initial, and hit enter. Okay. Now I'll just do an ID to see here. It already created a group ID that uh, the user's own group ID, which is called also called Tim H, which also happens to have a group ID of 1,000 for consistency and does belong to wheel to the wheel group the next thing I want to do is set a password for this user so I'll we'll just type in pass wd the username and then we'll type in a password for this new user and confirm the password I'm using a simple password so it's telling me it's a bad password but that's okay I'm not going to save this server you'll want a more secure password 